let's have a look then at the teams. The York Knights make a couple of changes. Cunningham and Barnard miss out. Jesse D makes his Knights debut in the back row. Levi Edwards, star centre, joins Pumley from Leeds. Three teen teenagers in that back line. Marsh and Harris will be key in the halves for York. What about the Bulls? Well, we heard from Jack Walker pre-game. Sadly out for a long period with that hamstring problem. That means Tom Holmes moves to full-back. Look out for George Roby and Fenton Rogers on the Bulls bench, both on season-long loans from Huddersfield. They will be keen to impress. What type of game are you expecting tonight, Kev? Well, I think it'll be quick. I think if you look at the personnel on both sides, they can all move the ball. The pitch is fantastically quick, so I'm expecting a real exciting game, Mark. The kick gathered by the Knights, and they will have the first use of the ball, and that's a great first carry. Your player, of course, Joe Rundle. The ball now, centre field, Lawrence again. Gets it away. High, Tester here, can Foggy Johnson collect it? Can he collect it? Yes, he can. Well, he had one delight denied earlier on, but this time the try is given. Bradford Bulls break the deadlock, the high kick, and Foggy Johnson underneath it, the Bulls lead by four. That's great play, great ball movement from Bradford Bulls through the middle, Lawrence to Patton, who look for the kick out wide, it's a great pass, it's great timing. It's just a great finish, he deserved that from the first, the first try that was disallowed for me, Kev. Yeah, that combination, like you say, through Lawrence, Lawrence is opening up some space, and deck Patton, this time Danny Kerman does try and put him under pressure, but he comes up with a pinpoint kick. And like Mark said, he got disallowed one before. I think it was hard done to, but on that occasion, it was probably an even harder try to finish, but he finished it well. And, and the combination of Deck Patton's boot on that left edge and David Foggy Johnson's finishing has resulted in points this time. You've got to say, though, they probably deserve that the way they have attacked. They just need to stick with what's working at the minute and go through the middle with shape, which is going a bit wider and they're coming back but this is this is what works for me straight through the middle Kerman almost rolling back the years last one the Knights five away they're going to try and pitch one from close in he's, in. he's, in. he's got it down well Kevin Brown called for it go route one and they managed to get over Will Jubb it was who poached the try from close range and York hit back it's all level Hendo looks pretty relaxed now yeah and I, I thought they were going to go away from what was working for him but they came back with Danny Kerman and Will Jubb off the back of Danny Kerman's work just had the presence of mind to pick the ball up the markers weren't quite set and he just gets over I think it's Anthony England who he gets over like all good hookers, gets his nose down, learning from one of the best in Andrew Henderson at that. He looks like a bit of an Andrew Henderson clone there, actually, Will Jubb, as he goes over with the egg gear on. Fantastic try. And that's what they need to do more of, test the middle, and once they've cracked that middle, stay there. It's basically on, but it worked. Well, now comes back centre field. Thompson just drops it back to Rogers. Rogers looking for lazy defenders. Again, makes some good meters, but York happy just to contain the big youngster. Five away, we'll play it now. Looking to work it close, here's Thompson trying to poach one from close in, he reaches out, he has got one! Bodine Thompson reaches out, and Bradford fires straight back under the post. The Bulls fans are delighted, they're back in front by eight points to six. Yeah, and it was, a, it was a similar area of the field where they scored, but it was completely different. You know, they went with movement, and Bodine cut Thompson. I think even he thought he was going to pass the ball initially, and he's walking back there, and he's, he's steaming away, but that was a great try, Leon. Yeah, they keep on setting up onto this right post, looking to go to that left edge through the lane. That was a really dangerous side with Kieran Gill. And Foggin Johnson, but then he has to play back through the middle, that eventually exposed. It was a nice short ball from dummy half from Roby. He thought Thompson had been stopped short, but he just manages to get out wide, get that arm out, powers through, jump. You can see what man. England does as well, though. That's really important that he goes through the line. We saw one before the Antrobus, you know, we got caught. He goes through the line, and he reaches out and gets the ball down. Jump waits, 20 out. King Kirby on his shoulder, driven backwards. Oh, some restart here for the Knights, they get it now, here's Jesse D, short pass, they're trying to power their way over, tackle is made, a couple of metres away. Jump close again, on the angle, they're trying to get their way over, they're over.
over the line and they have got it down. Is it Kirby who's got the ball over the line? He came back on the angle. And the former Giants youngster, just his second appearance for the Knights, and he is over, all level again, 10-10. It was, a, it was a play designed around the middle of the field. It was the old corners play from nine, where one player comes out and another player comes over. The man on screen there, John Kirby, it's designed to get your one-on-one, -on -one, a big man on the line. You see it early on, he comes back against the angle. Just too big, too strong for AJ Wallace. And like we said, Kev, when you're down a half on a play, you're gonna have to play through the middle more. So it's good control from Job calling that corners play on try line. It's well executed and well run. Gotta stay strong here. Five to go to the break. Jump jumps out of dummy half. Looking to get it to Harris. Harris now bodies in motion out the back. Tries to get the ball away, but Bradford in fairness slide across. Patman Gill with a tackle far side. Harris has it. Is he going to think about a kick? He's going to stab the kick through. The chases are coming. Balls there, and it's a try. Brilliant. And it's Ronan Michael who's just come on. Who gets the ball down? Well, Harris always looked like he was going to kick the ball. And look at the smile on the big fella's face. He enjoyed that one all right. Your lead, 16-10. Well, the some try scorers tonight getting really happy because they're off the nude run. You don't have to do the end of season punishment. And a lot of the forwards are getting some good opportunities. There were three or four York attackers chasing the ball. And it was Ron and Michael, the man on pitcher, who scored the try. And I think. Andrew Henderson is saying there, we don't need to go wide, because when they went wide, it didn't really look dangerous. They came back to the middle of the field again, come up with a great kick, and there's five in the picture. They wanted it more. Ronan Michael scores a try. Couldn't believe his luck, Leon. I'd be, I'd be, I'd be happy with that one. It's a great kick, though, to be fair to Harris. He's really coming to his own just late, and Michael's following it up. Early on, but to be fair, they stood strong. Came up with three tries, and Bradford fighting their way out of their own oh, end. And now another error, and Kevin Brown. Bradford cannot keep turning the ball over like this. Over then. And two. And another two points. Yes. And the kick is good. Like now they're going down the short side here. A little there? kick through is going to be picked up by He's Bradford. Offside, isn't it? Offside. He is offside. It's going to be another penalty. Well, I think Pat in six took over there. He just pounced on the loose ball, Leon. But this is another chance. Just to tag on another two. Make it a two converted try lead. He sends it on its way. It's a pretty good strike. And he gets it in again. 100% record continues, the Knights fans, they'll take whatever points they can get. Good, hard work, here they go now, Harris stabs a kick through, oh, was Kerman taken off the ball there? I think he was. Danny Kerman was taken, and he fancied getting on the end of that one, and it's going to be another penalty. Strikes it true, never looked like missing, did it? And the field, which way will they go? Harris takes control again, puts up the kick. Causing Holmes to come and collect it. Holmes is going to be tackled, he's going to be tackled. Is he going back in goal? He's tackled and he is over his own line. What an effort from York. This has been an outstanding second half performance. They just look hungry, don't they? They look up for it. They just get into last tackles, last plays. It's a quality kick again. And it's right hand corner from Harris. And then it's all about the chase. Danny Kerman up there with the boys. Catch, drag, push it back. Desire, hunger, effort. And that's just the difference technically. Well, they've gone, they've gone short here. Well, David Foggy Johnson's had that little of the ball. He felt he wanted to catch it anyway, but the ball hadn't gone 10. And that will be a penalty right in front of the post. And a penny for Mark Dunning's thoughts, because I don't think there's too many positive ones about this second half display from Bradford. They need to move the ball and chance their arm a little bit as another kick was over, but they need to do the basics right first. Well, the home fans left here at the weekend pretty disappointed after the opening day loss to Witness. Good to see the boot of James Glover, they are well in control here. Play the ball now. Atrobus again carries forward. The 
just grinding away here, trying to now finish it off, and they have done. They have got over the line. Josh Daly pounces from close range. His first try for the Knights from close range in. And this second half performance just continues to get better and better. The Knights lead by 30 points to 10. Something carried by, by Bailey Antrobus. He picks the ball up and he sat on the bench and watched his teammate Will Jubb do exactly the same in the first half. He just gets the ball and picks it up and route one again. And, and you've got to say, patience again, Leon. They've just deserved the win. Team get out, he's just gone in between. I know it is, it's a dummy half carry. I, know he, I don't mean to undersell that. Antrobus has been fantastic, outstanding tonight. Daly's come on, he's seen the space, and because he's played the ball so quick, it's given him time to pick up, look, stay patient, work hard, get low, dive over the line, and for me, that seals the game now. Six minutes to go, 20 points up, and York have been good for their win tonight, they've been outstanding. It's too late, they sort of got their ideas together at the back end of the game and looked threatening, but. Was this been for the first 78 minutes? There's Holmes. Holmes pumps off one, keeps it alive. Better from Bradford, albeit too late. Thompson tries to get through the gap. Fucking Johnson's calling for it wide on the right. Set restart for the Bulls. They're going down the short side here, and they might be about to crash their way through. But Daly is there, D is there, Taus is there to make the tackle. And you're trying to kick the Bulls out here, keep them scoreless in this second half. Another six again for the Bulls. Oh, it could be intercepted. No, it's going to be a try. They came rushing out, and Jordan Lilly will slice his way through under the post. Too little, too late for the Bulls, but finally they have some points in the second half. Yeah, I think it was like a really wide pass from the half. I think it was. George Flanagan, George Flanagan the, the, the with a, from a right, with a right to left of about a 20 metre pass. Somebody tried to come right out of the line to intercept. I think it was Fitzsimmons who was looking for the intercept. Kerman couldn't cover in. Try there for just the an end. error. It's just an error in defence. And you know, Bradford, that's probably the most frustrating thing with this team. They look very, very dangerous when they're all on the same page, attacking well, the threat all over the field. York get it back. That will be it. The Hooter has gone in the background. And it's the York Knights who have their first win of the championship season. Andrew Henderson will be pleased with that one. The York Knights are pleased with that one as well. The fans delighted. 18-10, the Knights led at the break. It took four penalty goals from James Glover to extend that lead to 16 points. Just daily. Wrapped up the spoils later on before Jordan Lilly's consolation try. Means our final score here: 32 points to 16.